I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week I'm working on building my own super suit. Now, while looking at super styly is very, very important to me, I've also noticed that many superheroes also have a sidekick. I mean, obviously I have Nano Nano Girl as my sidekick, but what I need is a nano pet. I could use it to help me on missions. Maybe a super sniffing dog to help me sniff out trouble. Oh, wait. That's all right. I already have one of those. Can you help me sniff up baddies? Mm, maybe not. Okay, what I really need is a shape-shifting partner that could also fly in and fly out of places without being noticed. Now that would be helpful indeed, but where would I keep them? Keeping pets in my belt isn't very fair, but if I carried them around, they would need to be able to hold on and balance when I'm running to an important superhero mission. I need a super balancing, super pet, super psychic. When it comes to balancing, we need to figure out something called the center of gravity. This is also known as the balance point, and it's the point where the weight of something is the same on both sides. You can find the center of gravity on an object by balancing it on one finger and finding the point where it doesn't fall. Let's have a look. I've got this pencil here. So if I put the pencil on this side, you see it falls off. So we need to find its center of gravity. It's probably around the middle, like that. You can see that the pencil is balanced. And so this is the center of gravity point. So to help my super sidekick to balance, I'm gonna to need to find its center of gravity very precisely. For this experiment, you're going to need thin card, scissors, tape, some small weights, I've got some paper clips, blue tack, a wooden skewer, pencil, some colouring supplies, an elastic band. First of all, figure out what you want your sidekick to be and then draw that shape. You're going to need to make sure it's a symmetrical shape, which means that it's the same on both sides. I'm going to make mine a butterfly. Why? Because butterflies are awesome. I mean, think about it. Firstly, they can fly, which is already such a cool superpower. But they can also shapeshift, converting themselves from a wiggly jiggly caterpillar into a gigantic flying butterfly. That is super cool. To make it easier to draw a symmetric shape, what we're going to do is take our piece of paper and fold it in half like this. Now we're going to draw our shape starting at the fold, but you're only going to draw half of the shape. So, so this is going to be my head point and the top of my wings are going to be up here. So draw half of the shape. Here's my butterfly. And the important thing for this experiment is to have a shape where the wings or the arms stretch forwards or higher than the head. Okay, now we're gonna cut it out, making sure that you're cutting through both of the pieces of paper so that when it cuts out, it's gonna look the same on both sides. Next, you're gonna unfold it and you should have a shape that is exactly the same on both sides. Now, you can color or decorate this however you like. Just be careful if you're gonna decorate it with objects, don't stick too many things on the back of the shape or the bottom of the shape, because it's gonna make it harder to balance. I think I'm gonna color mine in with my black pencil and my orange pencil. Let's have a look. Okay, when you've finished decorating, you're gonna turn it over and measure a piece of skewer that is not quite as long as the body. So here's the body, I'm gonna make mine about this long here. So remember, score it and then snap it to break. Now you're gonna take this down the middle. Make sure you start at the top of the head here. Okay, now turn it back over and we want to find where the center of gravity is. So balance it on one finger, making sure that you are balancing onto the skewer here and figure out where it's going to balance. I think it's about here. So there we go, without any weight, this is the balance point of my butterfly. If I turn my finger over, you can see that it was about here. But for this experiment, we want to move this balance point right to the very tip, right by the head here. So when we try and balance it on that spot right now, you will see that it falls over. And that's because the back of it weighs more than the front, and so it's always gonna fall this way. So what we need to do is add more weight to the tips of the front wings. And so we're gonna do this by taking some tape and we're gonna make 
a little roll of tape here like this and stick that right to the front top of our butterfly wing. We'll do the same on the opposite side. Now we're gonna add some weight. So I'm using paper clips and you can use paper clips because they're really nice because they don't weigh too much but they're small and they also weigh the same amount. So I know that I can control both sides equally. So let's try putting one paper clip onto the end of the wing on both sides. Really equal. Okay, now we're going to try and balance and see if that extra weight moves it forwards a little bit. Ooh, almost, but I'm not quite at the end, so I'm gonna add another paper clip either side and let's see if that's enough weight. So, here we go. Look at that. You can see that it's now balancing right on the front by the head. That is super cool. Okay, so you might need more or less paper clips depending on how big your butterfly or your shape is. And now I need somewhere for my sidekick to sit. Hmm, where should we put it? I know. Why don't we make a wrist perch for our butterfly to sit on? Okay, take your leftover card and cut a strip that is just long enough to fit around your wrist. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Now you're gonna open a paper clip out into a hook shape like we've done this before. So take the middle out like this and then bend into a hook like that and tape it onto one end of your piece of paper. Okay, so you wanna take an elastic band to the other end like this so that it hooks on. So I'm just gonna figure out where that elastic band end needs to go. To stay closed, it probably needs to be taped right here. So now you should be able to hook it over and it should stay on your wrist like this. Okay, next you want to cut a skewer to be about eight centimeters long or so, and then make sure you're cutting the non-pointy end. So you've got a flat skewer and you're gonna to want to blue tack it onto your wrist device. Okay, this is gonna be the perch for my sidekick to land on. Now for the moment of truth. Can my finely balanced, free-floating, fluttering friend find their balance on the tip of this skewer? Let's find out with the help of my marvelous mini mate, Nano Nano Girl. Hello? What's that, Nano Nano Girl? She wants to ride the super pet. You can't do that. Not right now, anyway. It's all about finding the center of gravity tell you what, I'm just gonna have you stand and watch what happens next. Just stand there and see. There we go. Okay, I've got my wrist perch on. Now let's see if I can balance skewer on skewer like this. And look at that, my butterfly balances onto my super wrist perch. What's that, Nana Nana Girl? She says she doesn't like this one. Why not? She says because I'm her sidekick and she doesn't think that I would fit on her wrist. Right? What? I'm not your sidekick, you're my sidekick. Huh, okay. We're just a great team, high five. We're nobody's sidekick apparently. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I could change the center of gravity so you could go for a ride on our new sidekick's back. Yes, that would be amazing. Okay, I'll get onto that and I will see you all soon for some more Super Suit, Super Science. Bye.